Ladies and gentlemen, in our last quarterfinal matchup, we have an official time of one minute, six seconds of round number two, ruled a technical knockout, and now advancing to the semifinals of this Glory Slam tournament, Masahaki Noiri. Quarterfile number three, pits Canada against France. One grew up in a martial arts family. The other honed his fighting skills as a means of self-defense on the streets. Here comes Gabriel Varga and Abdallah Esbiri. Raised in a household of martial artists, says number six ranked featherweight Gabriel Varga. His father was a karate instructor and he has practiced martial arts his entire life. And a lot of times uh, the traditional martial art background isn't a good uh, spawning ground for kickboxing, but they brought him along slowly and now here he is in the slam tournament. Dilla Esbiri, he's ready to rumble. An impressive 32 and six record. 11 wins coming by way of knockout. And he has plenty of experience as being a champion, both as an amateur and a professional. And the six losses on his record are all against top names. And speaking of karate, which is the strong suit for his opponent, Gabriel Varga, this man here, Abdilla Esbiri, can do a lot of flashy moves of his own. And the numbers are fairly close on the surface with a slight edge going to Esbiri on experience. But behind the curtain, Esbiri has probably faced the tougher competition. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this third quarterfinal matchup scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first fighting out of the blue corner, a man trained in both karate and Muay Thai making his glory debut here in Tokyo. His record, 21 wins, one loss, eight of those wins coming by knockout. At 1.78 meters, he weighed in at 64.7 kilos, representing Canada. Currently ranked number six in the world. Here His opponent fights from the red corner, a five-time French national champion and bronze medalist in the World Combat Games. His record, 32 wins and six losses, 11 wins by knockout. At 1.76 meters, he weighed in at 64.9 kilos, representing France and ranked number four in the featherweight ranks of glory. Please welcome Abdallah. よろしくお願いします。よろしくお願いします。よろしくお願いします。よろしくお願いします。よろしくお願いします。よろしくお願いします。よろしくお願いします。よろしくお願いします。よろしくお願いします。よろしくお願いします。よろしくお願いします。よ
We've already seen one upset in the tournament. Can we see another one? Number four ranked, Abdullah Esbiri in the red gloves, taking on Canada's Gabriel Varga in the blue gloves. And down goes Esbiri. Slip. The fighters throwing down quickly again. What I'm seeing now is uh, is Beery coming out firing, but Varga is beating him force with force. Varga, a very patient fighter, takes him down. Nice sweep there. Oh, man. Gabriel Varga, right hand gets through and lands. Varga, an impressive 21 and 1, and he's unloading now. Yeah, but is Barry landed some good knees in that clinch? I, both these guys are basically trying to end this in the first round. Okay, you punch again, Gabriel. Low good. kick by Varga, countered by Esbiri. Knee by Esbiri. Crazy wild fight right now. Neither guy giving an inch to the other. Nice left by Esbiri, got through. Varga trying to work the body. Varga landed a nice, sweet little left knee on the inside, too. Jab by Varga. Moving forward. Esbiri setting a really hard pace right now. Hopefully that won't come back to haunt him. Giving him a deficit in the gasoline department. Gabriel Varga's corner saying, you've heard him. Get to work, kid. And he's doing exactly that. I'm telling you, Varga is really a great technician. One minute to go in round number one. Referee separates our fighters. Remember, you can only, oh, spinning back kick by Esbiri. But it was blocked by Varga. I, that's really a hard kick to block, too. Can only clinch three seconds. Varga went to spin on a back fist as Esbiri faded back, but then Varga accounted for something else. Low Varga. kick and body shot by Varga. Yeah, Varga going to the body, doing everything right. And it's very wise, he's trying to turn it into a brawl. But Varga is unfazed. Varga keeping Esbiri in the corner. A couple low kicks by Esbiri. Tries the spinning kick again. Oh. That one landed with the body, and Varga just misses with a stunning right. These guys are 10 and ending this in the first round. Great action here in our quarterfinal slam fight number three. Gabriel Varga from Canada, eight KOs to his credit. We take a look at Abdilla Esbiri, but Varga, he came out firing, very impressed. These guys just didn't want to uh, have a feel out round. They just, Bam! That right overhand there. right, that overhand right was right on the cheek. That, that hurt. But Esbury didn't fade back. But I'm telling you, Varga really did a lot of great work. He was more precise in this round. Esbury wanted to draw, but Varga denied him. Varga, the two-time kickboxing champion in Canada. Seconds out, please. Seconds out. Seconds out. Your face, it's close. Now two. Round number two. Ready to go here in our quarterfinal slam fight number three. Fighters looking to move on to the semis. And they pick up exactly where they left off in round number one. Throwing some leather. We check out the scores from round number one. And we've got a bit of a split. We've got four for Varga and one for Esbiri. Varga going there with a nice spinning heel kick, but it didn't land. Very close, though. Varga throws Esbiri down. Does not count as a knockdown. Esbiri is loading up on everything he throws, and that's going to tire him out. 
for all the latest news, upcoming tournaments, including our USA debut in New York. Check out gloryworldseries.com. Fargo establishing his jab there and landing it. You know, pop, pop, pop. He's really got everything is crisp that he throws. Great action here. We want to welcome all of our broadcasting partners watching Glory 8 from around the world, including in the States, on the CBS Sports Network, and in Europe, Eurosport, and the Fight Channel, and our friends in Canada checking it out on the Fight Network. Gabriel Varga in the blue gloves, and Abdilla Esbury in the red. See, this is not where Esbury wants to be with his back up against the rope, eating back kicks and left hooks to the liver. Now Varga tries a back kick. To clinch. He almost got a side choke there. Front kick, followed by a low kick from Varga. I think that Esbury has put out the more energy. He's starting to slow now. Varga landed a clean shot to the liver of Esbury. But Esbury's still throwing everything he's got. Still dangerous, but he's really... He might be hurt. Yeah, he's starting to wobble. It's, it's a cardio thing. Knee from Varga. Oh. Another knee lands from Varga. And two solid shots. Varga picking apart Esbury now. Stuck in the corner. Varga throwing Esbury around. Clinches up, just misses with a knee. Varga taking control of this fight as we approach 30 seconds in round number two. Every aspect of this fight, Varga has mastered. The distance, uh, you know, the boxing, the kickboxing, and the Muay Thai. He's really putting forth a great effort here, and I don't think we're going to see a split verdict by the judges for this round. I think that Varga has got this one running away unless the next 15 seconds as Barry can do something drastic. It's been all Gabriel Varga in this second round. 10 seconds to go. was all Vargas and that knee. I can't believe Esbury just walked right through that knee because he got it. But that straight right, boom. You know, Esbury still firing back, but he's getting slacked here. And then here come the knees. You know, boom. I, you know, the side knee is it's hard to get torque into that thing, but Vargas is getting plenty of power in that, especially because it's his long limbs and, the, you know, the, the punches as well. He really knows how to use distance. Tough day at the office for that man, Adila Esbury. This is it. Our fighters looking to move on to the semifinals of this Glory 8 Tokyo Featherweight Slam. In the red trunks, Abdilla Esbury in the red gloves, excuse me. And number six ranked featherweight, Gabriel Varga with the blue gloves. We check out the scores from round number two. All Varga in that one. Yeah. Varga going to the body, digging with the right left. Esbury comes out like he has a sense of urgency, but Varga throwing the flying knee. This is going to come down to, to conditioning, as well as beautiful technique by Varga. Varga has got so many tricks in his toolbox. He just did, uh, he tried an ankle-to-ankle -ankle sweep there, which is not actually legal, but it was just basically, oh! Spinning kick by Ed Fury. It's Partially blocked, but still looked good. Got through two, two minutes to go. Well, if it's conditioning that's going to decide this fight, Gabriel Varga is a gym rat, Stephen. He says yeah. he likes to train more than he likes to fight. Well, that's obvious because this guy has got, you know, he, his technique is really, really sound in every aspect of the game. And he can brawl, too. 
But why brawl when you can leave the guy in the ribs? As Barry now moving forward, gets a jab through. I think that uh, Varga, the only thing he has to be careful of is a wounded animal is a dangerous animal. And so, as Barry, be because he's fading and he's not landing as much, he's still throwing with everything he's got. So Varga has to make sure that for the next minute and 15 seconds, he's got to be careful as well as be offensive. High kick from Varga. He continues to work. Uppercut gets through. Fighters clinch. One minute to go. Who will be moving on to the semifinals? Esbury just eats about three punches on the clinch. Esbury looks gas. Flying knee from Gabriel Varga. Low kick from Varga. Wild uppercut misses from Esbury. <laughs> A fake back kick. This is it, 20, under 30 seconds to go. As Barry needs to do something at this point if he wants to move on. Yeah, he really does. He needs a knockout, for sure. Varger holding him in the corner there. Gets through with some solid jabs. And the hourglass is running out for Mr. Asbury from France as Gabriel Varga put on a lot of pressure. That was all Varga. Number six ranked Gabriel Varga. I think we have an upset. I believe he knocked off number four ranked Abdilla Esbiri, Stephen. That was a very impressive performance by the Canadian. Yeah, we've got a shining star here in Gabriel Varga. I mean, this guy has got, he's so otherworldly with his technical ability, but his ability to just fight. And, you know, as Barry comes in raging to the body, but he's, he's leaning and reaching too much, and he eats a couple of shots as a result. And then there's some body shots in close, and oh boy, that knee would have spoiled everything. See, he's reaching too much, and he's leaning himself over for counters, and Varga is just an exceptional fighter offensively, defensively, and great in the counters. Ladies and gentlemen, here now is the judge's decision, a point total, 149-136, declaring the winner on points, and now advancing to the semifinals, in the blue corner, Gabriel Varga! Another upset here in the Gloria Tokyo Featherweight Slam Tournament. Gabriel Varga is moving on to the semis. He will face either the winner of the Utah Kubo Chibin Lim fight. And Varga moves up in the rankings one notch to number five. Instant rankings, you gotta love that. Totally. Get a victory and you move on.